Hello everyone, my name is Ike Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a 5M server in just a couple of minutes. This is going to be a full series, so I'm going to show you guys how to set up literally your dream 5M server in just a few videos. All you guys got to do is subscribe, turn on that notification bell and like the video to make sure you guys are tuned in for the next episode to come out, which will be following on from this video. So you guys literally at the end of the series will have a fully built 5M server. The first steps, all you guys are going to want to do Hit the first link down in the description below, which will bring you guys right here to the 5M Artifacts download page. This is going to be the latest versions available to you for setting up a 5M server. So all you guys are going to want to do is hit this top one right here, this little blue download button. And that will start downloading the server files in a zip folder. If you guys do not have a zip opener, then make sure you guys install a software like WinRAR, which is what I'm using, or 7-Zip or WinZip, either work, and they're just simple EXE applications. And then you guys can open a zip folder like this. But if you guys have already got one, all you guys are going to need to do, open it on up. We're going to minimize to our desktop. And now it's up to you where you create your server. I usually just create mine on my desktop. You guys can see I have a few here just for testing reasons. And all you guys are going to want to do is we're going to right click, new folder, and we're going to call this one YT server. And you guys can call it whatever you guys want. But once you guys have done this, open up this folder, right click again, new folder, and we're going to call this folder server. And open this folder on up. And this is where we're going to put all of our main server files and folders that we just downloaded into. So to do this, all you guys want to do, grab your download, grab your file explorer with the server folder we just made. Control A to select them all and very, very simply drag and drop them into your folder like so. It should take a couple of seconds to copy across and just like that, we are done. Now from here, we can close our server download zip. We do not need this anymore. So just close that and focus on our server folder. So from here, what you guys are going to do, scroll and down until you guys see the fxserver.exe. And we're going to double click that to start it on up. Give it a couple of seconds, it's going to pop up with a Windows command prompt. It's going to ask you to allow the app to run. Just hit allow. And then automatically it should pop up with a TX admin page on your browser. And it should automatically fill the code for you. TX admin is going to be what we actually use to sort of manage our server, like an admin interface. So we can ban people, we can see what people are on the server, and we can sort of see any errors if there are in the server console. So once you guys have done that, hit link account. And then we're going to authorize it with our cfx.re account. If you guys haven't already got one of those, then very, very simply go to forum.cfx.re, create an account, come back to this page, and then sign in. Once you guys have signed in, hit continue. And then it's going to ask you to create a backup password for your server. And from here, just call it whatever you guys want. Any password, as long as you guys will remember it. And then agree to the terms and conditions and create yourself a master account. From here, it's going to be actually setting up our server settings. So we can hit next. And here we can change our server name for our TX admin interface. So call it whatever you guys want. And then we're going to hit next. From here, we're going to select popular recipes. And then we're going to select this one right here, the CFX default 5M. Hit save. And then go to recipe deployer. This is going to be literally everything is downloading automatically for you. There isn't much because we're going to be setting up everything else in the next videos to come. Hit next. And then here we're going to have to grab ourselves a key for our server so to do that hit this little hyperlink right here which will take you to the key master page just briefly i wanted to tell you guys about my new website hcnetwork.1 which actually sets up a 5m server for you if you guys cannot be bothered to deal with all the management and having to add in mods and things like that you can literally just check out my website down in the description below www.htnetwork.1 and you can set up a 5m server in literally just a couple of seconds using the included auto installer and it will have already over 120 plus mods that's custom vehicles custom maps custom menus literally everything you guys can need and you literally did not have to do anything so check that out down in the description below www.htnetwork.1 and then from here you guys are going to want to sign in to the same cfx.re account that we linked our tx admin to earlier so just hit sign in as long as you guys were signed in before it should automatically sign you in and then from here all you guys are going to want to do is go to new server display name can be whatever you guys want it doesn't have to be the same it doesn't have to match literally anything you guys want then from here, you guys are going to need to enter in your server IP address. Now, if you guys do not know your IP address, then very, very simply, to find that, all you guys need to do, open a new page on your browser and search what is my IPv4 address. And then you guys should be able to see there's going to be a website called what is my IP address. You can just click this link and you guys should be able to see it's going to pop up with a page and give it a couple of seconds and it will show you guys your IPv4 address. 
what you guys are going to do is we're going to copy that control C, go back to our CFX key management. And we're going to paste that into here like so. For server type, we're going to select the other slash home hosted right at the bottom. And then for which server provider are you using? It doesn't actually matter what you put in here. It's not going to break anything. Just put whatever you want. But just for safekeeping, again, just so you guys know what we're doing, we're going to put in home for home hosted, which basically means you're running a 5M server from your own computer in your house. Then go to I'm not a robot and then generate yourself a server key. From here, all you guys are going to do is going to copy that server key, go back to our server deployer TX admin page, and we're going to paste it into here. Then very, very simply, we're going to hit run recipe. You guys should see it's going to start executing everything for you. It might automatically pop up with your server folder again after it's automatically installed all these files and folders for you. Just close that for now and then hit next. This is going to be your server.cfg page, which we can come back to. Don't have to worry. If you guys want to change something in here, you can do it at a later date. This is basically like all of the important settings of your 5M server. So these are the things I recommend changing right here is going to be your server host name, which is going to be actually what shows up on the 5M page. So I'm going to delete this bit right here since we don't really want it to say built with CFX default 5M. Just delete that and we're going to do the same here. Usually I like to copy my username for the server and then just paste it into the description or you guys can actually write your own description if you want. And then that's it for now. We can hit save and run server. And just like that, we have now actually created our 5M server. Pretty simple and pretty easy, but very, very quickly, I'm going to show you guys pretty much how to manage your 5M server. So what you guys are going to want to do, we're going to leave this open. We're going to minimize to our desktop. And you guys should see that folder that it brought up automatically last time. And if you have got, haven't got that, then all you guys need to do is just go back to where we created our server on our desktop for me or in your file explorer. Open it on up and then go to TX data. And then go to CFX default. And then in the resources folder right here is going to be wherever we install our mods. And also with all the mods it comes preset with, which is pretty much like your necessities for running a 5M server. Now, if we go back to the folder before, the CFX default folder, you guys are going to see that file we were just talking about earlier, our server settings file, this server.cfg. Now, if we hit double click to open that on up, you guys should see it's going to open up in a text document and it's going to look exactly the same as the file we were just editing earlier to change our server name. Or any changes you guys make in here, it will copy across to your TX admin. And you guys can just make the changes here as you want. But we will cover this in a later video when it comes to adding some more mods and menus into our server. So for now, we can just close this and we're going to actually start our server file on up. So to do that, I'm going to show you guys as if we have never started up our server in the first place. So what you guys are going to do is just open up this little Windows command prompt here, which is actually our server already running. But just so you guys know how to actually turn on your server after this closes, after you turn off your PC, since this won't stay on, we're just going to close it. And then to actually start our server on up from the beginning, just open up the server folder. And it's going to be the very first file you guys see, the start underscore default dot bat, and then a couple of random numbers in the middle. Just double click that. And you guys should be able to see it's going to open up with the same command window we just closed. And that basically means your server is now running. Once you guys get to this little bit right here, the authenticated with cfx.re nucleus, that means your server is now up and running. So all you guys need to do to connect to it now is launch your 5M app on up. So just search for 5M and hit open and let it start up. And you guys should be able to see now once we load in, there is going to be a new menu appearing at the bottom of the play section. You guys can see right here underneath play, there is now a new little option which says connect to the name of your PC and then on LAN which basically means that our server is now successfully up and running. So all you guys need to do to actually connect to it now is just hit that button right there. Hit connect to the name of your PC and you guys should be able to see we are now loading into our very first 5M server. And just like that, once you guys are loaded into your server, you now have officially set up your first ever 5M server. So be sure to turn on that notification bell and hit subscribe so you guys are staying tuned for the next video to come, which will be showing you guys how to install some admin management mods into your guys' 5M server. And in the next video, I'll be showing you guys how to install custom cars and so on. So make sure you guys do stay tuned for that and be sure to check out my website, hcnetwork.1, down in the description below. And other than that, I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.